welcome back to my YouTube channel, you guys. If you are new here, you definitely click on the right video. As y'all see what the thumbnail says, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a braided wig. But if you click on this video, you already know the vibes. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, y'all. So, I finally decided that I wanted to try a braided wig, y'all. Yes, a braided wig. Back then, hell no. It, I would not be trying a braided wig. But y'all, um, I kind of do blame TikTok. Um, I'm really not a big fan of like TikTok shop, but like I used to have to order my little brother's stuff. He used to see me stuff on TikTok shop. And I'm like, <laughs> this TikTok shop. So y'all, mind y'all, before I decided I was going to do a wig, I was going to go to the Africans and let them braid my hair, you know? But I'm going to be honest y'all. I do not like sitting down for eight hours to get my hair done like I used to do it when I was very young. Very, very young, y'all. I was little bitty getting my hair braided and literally sitting in the chair for eight hours. And I'm the type of person, like, I don't want to be doing all that. So, um, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try a braided wig um, just to see how it does. I saw a lot of great reviews, and I wanted to be able to show you guys how I'm going to install it. Um, like I said, this video is not sponsored, but this is an educational video for y'all, okay? So, um, this here is the big company, y'all. When I tell y'all, it was out of um, Wiggins or Supernova. So, I'm not for sure if you're watching this video and you've been looking on TikTok shop. It is two braided companies that I've been seeing great reviews. And one of them mostly is called Supernova. And then this one is also Wiggins. So, I decided to go with this one. I'm very excited. So, I'm going to show y'all um, everything that came in the box. Which is so cute, y'all. This whole box is so cute. So... So it is, you gotta do it like this. Okay, so this is the box, y'all. Look how it came in. This is too cute. So they gave me HD wig cap, which is two of these. Um, it also came with a bag from their company. And let's see what's in the um, bag, y'all. Got us a brush that came. This is too cute. Um, um, I guess these are like crochet locks. This is like a free gift. Um, okay, <laughs> but it's it's cute though. You know, maybe I want to put a little bit, you know, a little bohemian, you know, a little lock in my, you know, I don't know. And it also gave me an elastic band, which is too cute. Y'all have so many of these, so many elastic bands, y'all. When I tell y'all, if you like elastic band, get these and reuse, reuse them. When that glue start building up, either order you some more or wash them. Just say something. And they also sent me an edge control brush. Um, most wig companies, if you order wigs from 9 to 10, you're going to always get like wig caps, um, an elastic band. Um, like most of the time, they always going to see you stuff like that. And they always see like cute little bags, you know, just restorable. And y'all have so many of these and I use them always. Okay. So let's put, let's put, hold on now. Let's put this one here. We're just gonna put it on the bed. So y'all, this here is a wig. Y'all see? This here is the wig. Like, look at that, y'all. Y'all see how natural the part C is, y'all. And this wig is really heavy. <sighs> it's full. Like, look at it, y'all. Do y'all see that? You see how like natural it is? Yes. And like look at the edges, y'all, that they left out in the front, y'all. I'm trying to show y'all. It's so hard. 
I can't, I'm gonna show you y'all. It don't even do no justice. I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna put it on, on my head when we do it, y'all. But this, you see how natural it looks, y'all. It looks really, really natural. This hair is a 36 inch. As y'all know, I'm very, very short. I'm very short. So this right here is very long to me. It's really gonna touch my ass, which that's what I want. Um, but this here um, is the 1B. Um, they did have a different other colors, but I wanted to try 1B. So here is the wig, y'all. It's really, really long. I love that they have like the bohemian curls already in it because I think that that's what pops out your braids a little bit more. So I love it. <laughs> so y'all, now we're about to get ready to um, blend in our cap. So I did do this off camera. Um, so make sure you guys do it off camera too um, as well because I did my makeup and I wanted to do my makeup before I did my wig and start with you guys. So, hold up, y'all. Okay, so first thing first, y'all, if you have a wig cap, make sure um, you put two caps on. I highly recommend putting two just because it give it like a secure look. You know what I'm saying? And it'll like flat down your hair, especially if you're going to be doing something really, really flat. You don't want to have no humps and all that, okay? So after that, I'm going to go in with my contour palette, y'all. I've been using this for a very long time, as y'all can see. But I'm just going to go ahead and blend my front area that's right here i'm gonna make sure like when i blend it that i'm getting this area here very very important especially the style that we're about to do you got to blend the top first Okay, so after that, y'all, so the back cap, I'm going to go in with a little bit of lighter. So I'm going to go in with this one here. Well, I'm going to go in with that one because you got the wig, y'all. You want to make sure it matches. Y'all, I'm really, this is my first time doing this, y'all. So this is y'all getting a first reaction, how it's going to look. Y'all are getting everything y'all like but yeah just make sure when y'all do this blend it blend 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 so important i think a lot of people don't be thinking that the bald cap is important but it really is important and especially this here is a braided wig so i'm not bleaching the knots or anything so you want to make sure that like my whole entire head is this color so don't rush don't rush y'all please don't rush okay so now we are finished and what i'm going to do like i say y'all the wig is already styled it's not going to be a lot to do so what I'm gonna do is take my palette. We're gonna be taking this palette right here and we're going to be blending this wig just like this. We're gonna be blending it. And I prefer you guys to use whatever works for you. A lot of people use the spray, but I use um, the palette because they got like all different colors in the palette, making it easier. Cause like if say if one color isn't your color, but you can use the other one, it might be your color. You just never, never know. So, this is a heavy wig. It is 
um, a full lace. So we gotta make sure that we are taking our time. I'm excited, y'all. I'm so excited to put this wig on. Y'all, I'm so, I'm so happy. I've been waiting on this wig, y'all waiting. And it finally came. Well, it, it really been here since Friday. But I've been waiting to put it, put it on and stuff like that. But yeah, all I'm doing right now, y'all, is just going in and blending it as much as I can. I'm going to get that thing blended. And I think that we are now in a time to where it's like, it's not that hard to do your hair. Nowadays, what prices is now for people charging to do your hair? Listen, you can literally learn off YouTube, do it yourself, and literally, if you keep practicing, keep getting better and better and better, girl, you'll save you so much money. Because, like, I love that I know how to do my own hair. I don't got to call nobody to do my hair. Maybe I could do it myself. And y'all, I want it so bright, so bad. I'm like, dang, I don't want to go to these Africans. I don't want to sit down. And then, boom. It's like my prayer was answered. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, I blended it as much as I could. So, let's see. We might put it on, y'all. Y'all, this here, I feel like I need to do some plugging to it. I don't know, can I do, I don't know y'all, can I plug this wig? I don't think I can. Okay. Y'all, look at this. I haven't even... Do y'all see this? Y'all, I haven't even... Y'all. I'm loving it already. <laughs> y'all, okay. Okay, y'all, so let's get it together. Okay, it's just these edges that's in the way. Okay, so we just got to make sure. Okay, y'all. <laughs> y'all, I'm just excited. Do y'all see how this wig looks? Like, this is my very first review. Literally, I waited until it came in the mail to do a review with y'all. And I'm already loving it, y'all. Like, I don't know if it's my makeup and it's the hair. It's everything, y'all. But y'all see, it's super easy. All I'm really about to do, y'all, is take my um, lace wig adhesive glue. You know, that's all I'm going to be doing is taking the glue. Um, I'm going to give y'all some glues I recommend. I'm going to show y'all this glue. This is a glue right here. So, like I say, this is not sponsored, but I am going to put y'all on a way y'all can get a lot of good goodies and stuff to use if you're doing your own hair. So, this company right here, I don't know how to say it, is Gopal. Yeah, I don't know. Gopal or whatever. Um, so, this is my second time ordering from this company. Um, they gave me a wax stick right here um they also gave me lace glue removal so whenever you want to move your wig or whatever this here make sure i can zoom in for y'all this here and then it also came with the glue also in it as well um it came with an elastic band it came with a wig cap it's actually on the floor yeah it came with a wig cap and it came with these and for the price that I paid, y'all, it was literally $10. So, um, I've been using their products. This here is the edge control, y'all. And I tell y'all, um, I have another container literally right beside me. 
when I tell y'all I recommend this company. They have great products. Um, it's like an all-in-one little hair kit, but this egg control here is the bomb. I'm not gonna lie, okay? But um, I would prefer trying this out here, um, especially if you, you know, sweat a lot. You know, I be wanting my wigs to be secured, and I know like certain wigs work. I mean, certain lace glue work on different people. So like, I would just, I would just try different glue out. Cause what what worked for me might not work for you. So, but y'all see, I'm just taking the glue. I should be going the other way. But I'm just taking my glue, y'all, and just pressing it back. I am I am gonna do three layers. Three layers. It's really, really important, y'all, to do three layers. Important, but as it's drying, um, I did want to tell y'all the price for this wig. Um, was literally, I think it was like $85. No, $97. This way it was $97. Um, like I say, I am big when it comes to wig. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Like, my last wig that I had, I literally had the wig for four months. I colored it. Um, it was highlighted one time. I did a lot to the wig, but I kept up with the wig. And I'm going to be honest, y'all, sometimes I don't be wanting to curl my hair, flat iron my hair, because it does take a lot of work. So that's why I left. I was like, you know, I'm just going to decide to get some braids because this is how quick and how easy this is. You know, the wig already comes plucked. It already comes with the edges. All you got to do is just slap it on. Like, I feel like we're changing the game. The hair game is crazy. And then, like, I remember, like, back then, people used to talk about braided wigs, but it wasn't heavy on braided wigs. And I think, like, now we're in a generation of, like, knotless. People love knotless because it looks natural. I don't know how to really get box braids no more. I mean, I'll wait. Because don't nobody get them no more. A lot of people be wanting their stuff to look natural. So, it's like now that these wigs are giving knotless, that's why I think why people are really buying it. Because it's looking knotless and it's natural. But I prefer, because I have saw a whole bunch of braided wigs at the hair store. They would look good, but they was they wasn't giving like scalp. They wasn't giving meat as like this one is. So I ain't saying that I ain't never seen them before, but it just wasn't giving. So yeah, it's full, y'all. This whole braided like what is it? Do y'all see this? This this probably would have took eight hours. And I just literally did this within 20 minutes with you guys. And it's a full lace. Y'all, I'm excited. This is the third layer, y'all. Please make sure you do three layers. Please. Especially for your first brand new wig. You want to make sure that thing is secured. And this right here, this part right here, y'all, is really good because it helps, like, smear off. Like, when you apply your glue, you want to make it as flat as possible. But yeah, you want to make it as like smooth as possible so it can dry smooth. You don't want to be clumped up. You don't want to have clumped up glue because then it's going to look really, really bad up under the wig. 
But yeah, y'all, this hair is so long. It literally passes my butt. It is so long, y'all. Wow. So long. And I love long hair. <laughs> and the braids, they got to be long. They got to be long. They got to be long. But y'all, we're going to let this dry and I'm going to be back. Okay. Okay, y'all. So it's dry. And now we're about to press it down. Just be the moment of silence. Cause you gotta get it right. I like that the edges are full. I really do. This this is so I am gonna have to cut my ears. Yeah. Okay, maybe not. Y'all look at that. Do y'all see how beautiful this is? And then I think when I cut it, I'm going to have to go up under instead of me going here. Because if I cut this, then I'm going to cut the edges. So, y'all look at this. This is so fucking gorgeous. But right now, y'all, I'm going to take this. And we're going to let this sit for a couple of minutes. Before we go in and we cut, I'm gonna have to cut this side. We gotta cut this side. Okay, y'all. So we got the scissors. I am gonna have to cut this side. I had to, and I did it so perfect. Because it got to be behind my ear. I do not like stuff that irritates my ear. I can't stand that. Okay. So now we got it pressed in. I'm going to take my elastic band. And we're going to tie this bad boy up. Y'all see? We're just gonna flatten that. Okay, y'all. So we're gonna let that sit and we'll be back. Okay, y'all. So we are back. Um, we did let it sit in. Um, I should have got a rubber band to tie, well, to tie the hair back, but that did not go so good. So now, y'all, we're just going to go in. When you do it, and when, when y'all do it, too, like, it really don't matter how this part looks right here, because your edges is what's going to cover it and make it look good. So, I'm not saying go in and cut everything, but don't leave out too much lace. So, I would really take my time, y'all. And like I say, y'all, I am not a hairstylist. I always wanted to do hair, and that's why I feel like I'm so good at doing my own hair because i always wanted to do hair you know so i just practice you know i'm just i don't think there's anything i can't do you know i think i just i love that about myself but like i say y'all i ain't even being as perfect with this like 
and I'm going to tell y'all why. Okay. So you guys see how this look. Watch this. Y'all see how the edges going to cover it up. So now what we finna do is go back in with the glue that whatever you use, I'm gonna go back in in the parts right here. So just go glue that back down. But now, when I tell you, I highly recommend y'all to get this wig. Like, when I say out of every wig I have ever bought in today's world, this is the, by far the best wig I have really had because I love that it gives scalp. I love how natural it is. I love how easy it is. This is a wig that you didn't have to bleach the knots. You didn't have to pluck. It came the way and it's long. And you didn't have to sit in a chair for eight hours. Come on now. This is a 10 out of 10. And when I tell y'all, this is not sponsored. This is not sponsored. I'm just putting y'all on game. Because I love y'all. But yeah, y'all, so we're going to glue these bad boys down and then we're coming right back, okay? Okay, y'all, so we officially got the glue down. And y'all, only thing I'm doing is going in with, y'all know the vibes, the pellets. And we're going to just tap it in. I am having a pellet coming out for my brand. For my cosmetic brand, I'm super excited. I have so many products that I'm working on doing. But y'all see, look at that. Y'all see that? It looks so natural. And it didn't even take me that long to do. Okay, y'all see that? What? Look at the edges. I'm gonna comb out the edges. They're so cute, y'all. I don't even know if I'm gonna cut them. And I need to do some with the back of the wig, y'all. I forgot that it's a full lace. So these are full of lace. So I think I'm going to have to cut this, y'all. Well, should I, y'all? If I want to pull it up. I don't know if I should cut it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to cut it. Just because, like, I might, I might want to put it up or something, but we're gonna we're gonna do it down. So it being down is not gonna matter. Okay, but y'all, what style should we do? Should we do the middle? Long. I think this was the middle. Pull up, y'all. I don't know, should I do the middle? Or should I do the side? Oh, y'all, yeah, so much hell. Yeah, I don't know. Y'all see I'm playing with his hair.
Maybe y'all, we're gonna do it on this side. Yeah, so I'm just taking it and just lighting my part parts up. Yeah, see how I just lit it up. You can really look like my scalp. Okay, y'all, so let's do the edges. Y'all don't think I want to cut it down. Yeah, we're not gonna cut them. This is my first time doing edges on wig. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna cut these. Okay, we also gotta make sure these edges right, y'all. These gonna take some time, so we finna get off camera and do these edges. Okay, y'all, right. so we officially got the edges done. Um, now we're about to just take this piece. Y'all, I'm trying to think what I want to do with this piece. I think this piece needs to be cut. Yes, it needs to be cut. But of course, I have to redo it. Of course. And I did my edges the way that I'm laying my hair down. So, I do feel like y'all can play around with it. And I do be wanting mine's fluffy a little bit. Okay, um, so let's melt this down. I'm going to let this sit for like five minutes and then we're going to take it off and then I'm going to show y'all how this braided wig looks okay okay y'all so we're going to take this do y'all see this y'all look at this do y'all see this Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten, y'all. Like, I don't know if I want to pull it up. Can't really pull it up too much, y'all, because if I pull it up, I'm going to have to do the back, which is not going to take long. But if I do do the sides, it'll be cute. Pin it up. I like it pinned it up, y'all. I really do. This is cute. What y'all think? I like to wear it down. I think we're gonna leave it down. We're gonna leave it down for today. I am gonna be pulling it up before I go to bed though. Because it is so long. So. This here is the final result. Tell me in the comments. What y'all think about this wig. Y'all see I'm just flipping the hair around. Like. I might want to just. Pull these back. Yeah at this point I don't know what I'm doing.
Y'all, I remember when I was younger, y'all, when I used to get braids, I used to want to pull them to the side, pull them to the back. But y'all know when you first get your braids, you can't you can't do that because your head be hurting like hell. So you had to wait till the braids like loosen up a little bit and then when you can do the different styles. But this wig here, honey, I just flipped up so many styles. But y'all, I recommend you guys to go purchase this wig. I'm gonna leave the link in my description box. Like I say. This is not sponsored. I just want to put you ladies on to a different hairstyle that you can do that's cost efficient and you can do it yourself. It's going to save you a lot of money, okay? But if y'all like this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And thank y'all for watching.